Hi everyone, it's Jean here and welcome to my channel. So today I've got another makeup tutorial for you guys and this is just a simple everyday makeup that I do during summer because Australian summer is so hot that my makeup just keeps melting off. So I try to keep it simple and keep it under 10 minutes as well. So it's super easy. So let's just jump right into it. So to start off with, I'm also going to time how long it takes to do this makeup. I try to keep it under three minutes, but it's nowhere possible. So the first thing I'm going to do is apply concealer to cover any dark spots. I'm not going to use foundation because there's no point. It's just going to melt off. So I'm just applying it to any dark spots or blemishes around my face and just slightly blend that in. I'm also using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer because I find it just easy to apply with the soft, fluffy dome applicator. Next up, I'm going to contour my face, and to contour, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Outer Contour Kit. I try to use as minimal different products as possible, so this is great because it has contour and highlighting in it as well. So with the contour shades, I'm going to contour the hollows on my cheeks, a little bit under my jawbone as well as along the side of my nose, because my face is really flat, round, and fat, so this just gives it a little bit more definition. Even under a pair of sunglasses, you can still also tell as well so I apply a bit just to make it look less flat this is also great because it gives me a little bit more color because let's be honest during summer I spend my times indoors under the air conditioner Next, using the highlighting shades, I'm going to apply some of the light powder onto the corner of my eyes just to make my eyes pop a little bit and make it look more brighter. And I'm also going to apply some along the sides of my nose, just under my eyes as well, just to make my nose appear a little longer and less flat and wide along the sides. And then using the more shimmery shade, I apply this to the bridge of my nose just to make it appear more higher. And then also apply it to the tip of my nose as well as the top of my cheekbones as well. Now that's all with the face, moving on to the brows, I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in chocolate and I think having well done brows makes a big difference, it looks like you're wearing a lot more makeup than you are. So I'm using this one to outline the shape of my eyebrows as well as applying some strokes on the tip of it to make it look more natural and then I'm going to go ahead with the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara to fill in any gaps and also just even out the colour. Now, if I had naturally long lashes, I would use mascara every day to enhance it. But because I don't, I use the Rimmel London Exaggerate Eyeliner to create a wing look on top of my eyes. I don't know, I'm just used to it because I think it gives me less of a monolid and makes my eyes appear a lot more darker and mysterious. You gotta work with what you got. And that being said, that's all I'm going to do to my eyes. I'm not going to bother wearing mascara because when you wear glasses and you have false lashes or a lot of mascara, sometimes it tends to rub off on the lenses. So I don't even bother nowadays. Now moving on to the lips, I'm using the NYX Lip Liner in Nude Pink. I actually use the colour Natural every day, um, but I also have a bad habit of losing it. So I'm using Nude Pink for today, and this is just to enhance my lips and make it look slightly fuller, because I find especially my upper lip looks a little deflated. Now depending on my mood, I also wear a lip gloss over it and I'm using the NARS Sarah Moon collection. This one is in shade 674 from the Velvet Lip Glide set. Um, I like this because it's more convenient and it's not tacky or glossy. So that's pretty much it and although it was very simple, it still took me like 7 minutes and 41 seconds to do. I don't know how people can do it under 3 minutes because it's nowhere possible. Um, but yeah, this is my everyday look and just disclaimer as well, no animals were harmed during this video. Coco is just napping in the background. So I hope you liked this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to watch more. Thanks for watching. Bye.